Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Uh, this morning, I got a text about 5.30 this morning from John with uh, Tribulation uh, News Radio there, and uh, he had sent to me that uh, Russian Black Sea Fleet headquarters was hit by a rocket attack. Uh, and this going on in the midday over in Sevastopol, uh, Crimea. This here is uh, RT's report here. I'm going to play it here for you in just a moment here before I do. Over on Twitter, I had actually retweeted this man's post earlier this morning. I wasn't sure if it was really for real or not, mainly because uh, it just seemed like everybody was going about a carefree life. Well, it was under attack. And uh, I'm going to play a little clip here for you now. Listen That is the sound, I think, of anti-air. Anti-air right above, right above me there. I'm in the middle of Sevastopol right now. It's a bizarre scene. People are just swimming down there. People with kids just enjoying the beautiful harbor. And above us, the anti-air missiles are exploding in the sky. Sevastopol is currently under attack. Okay, there you go. Now, there. it's uh, difficult for me to take too many pictures here. Frankly, I don't want to get in trouble with the authorities filming anything I shouldn't. Uh, but there is has been quite a bit of smoke. Now, as you'll notice, the guy's all walking casually in the background at first. This is the reason why I wondered, was this really happening? Uh, but it turns out it really was. And here we have here, uh, this is RT News speaking on it this morning at 9 a.m. Uh, or actually 8 a.m. Central Time, 9 a.m. This hour, at least one Russian soldier is missing after a Ukrainian missile strike on the Black Sea Fleet headquarters in the Russian city of Sevastopol, with five Ukrainian cruise missiles downed over the region, according to officials. Clashes continue on the streets of the capital of Armenia. As Army, it, is, it faces a fourth day. So it was of actually under attack. And, uh, for example, they found lots of uh, missing fragments there from the missile. So we might still hear more details regarding casualties. We know that uh, there is one man missing at the moment. Um, hopefully, we will not hear that it's turned into a casualty. Uh, but this is not the first time we've seen Crimea being attacked. Uh, just literally a little bit over a week ago, there was another attack there with 24 people were injured. Mm -hmm. And Crimea has been a target over and over and over again over the last 19 months, as we know. So this is not something new for them, but this again, Russia's Black Sea Fleet headquarters, this is something as soon as people heard that, everyone of course uh, were alerted in case this was going to spiral out of control because it is the Black Sea Fleet headquarters. Yeah. Also what's interesting was that at the time of the attack, the US we know Naval that a US Navy aircraft was hovering around that area. And it's not the first time so we not see something like around this. So the area, quite a Navy distance from there, but of course that area. hovering that then is attacked by gives the U.S. military uh, the ability so to help direct the missiles that but are again, coming in. At the time for the time uh, being, so uh, they've called off the warning, so we're not expecting to see another attack. How that plays out there. But anyway, uh, more and more as Crimea, especially the Black Sea Fleet, comes under attack, you can only expect that Russia is going to retaliate, and they're going to retaliate very hard. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.